I can't say I ever believed in fate. At least, not back then. But everything changed when a pirate showed up on the docks of Port Serum one day. Redbeard Frank took me under his wing and taught me everything I know about being a pirate. This was right before the event that would change the world. The execution of the Pirate King. His last words echoed in the minds of every sailor and pirate around the world. You want my treasure? You can have it. I left everything I gathered in one place. You just have to find it. In the beginning, I survived by pickpocketing men and stealing from the church on Entrana. With the money I saved, I bought myself a weapon and taught myself how to fight. One day, I came across a tribesman in the middle of the Karamjan jungle. Swayed by the promise of riches, I began my descent into the dungeon below. My training allowed me to hold my own against the monsters that hid in the darkness. But then, I saw it. A giant with flames <laughs> enveloping its body. I knew I stood no chance, but I was reckless. I don't remember much, but I remember thinking of my mom, and how she let me chase after my dreams even though she knew just how dangerous the world could be. And then, darkness. I wasn't sure if I was dead or alive, perhaps somewhere in between. Suddenly, a flash of bright light overcame my senses and I heard a voice. The Lord of Light had brought me back. Well, most of me, anyways. My hardcore status was gone, but I was alive. There was a price, however. A curse, if you may. I was no longer able to possess more than I could carry on my back, and all the possessions I once had were gone. I do not know why I was brought back, but my dream is still alive. I will become the next King of the Pirates. It looks like we need some more GP to make some bronze knives, so back to pickpocketing. There it is, 36 thieving. These snakes are gonna be a huge pain while I'm training smithing, so... Alright, he is still chilling out here. Um, I'm thinking I might... I think I'm gonna try luring him away and... See if we can just go in there. Was it? Is he done? Oh, he's done. Okay. Now if he would just get out of the hut, we are- Oh, there we go. Okay. Gotta be quick, gotta be quick. Seven smithing. We can now make bronze throwing knives. Awesome. Back to seagulls. Alright, here's a load of bones. I totally forgot I was already 15 prayer, so... I was kind of expecting to get a level there. Alright, I am done with seagulls for a little while. <laughs> Or forever. We're looking at 10 attack, 20 strength, and 10 defense. I'm gonna test out the pirates over in Brimhaven. 20 range. There we are. Arg, our very first map to buried treasure. 20 defense. We can now wear our studded body. The plan is to start camping moss giants and build up our cash stack a bit so that way we can start getting some levels. Hey, first drop of the moss giants. We got some nature runes. Awesome. That's a construction lamp. Gimme gimme. I think after we build up a bit of cash, we're gonna head to Catherby and go talk to Sir K for that first clue scroll step. And hopefully the next one is something we can do. Thirty range. We are moving on up in the world. First inventory. I don't think this is going to sell for much, but hey, we'll take what we can get. A load of bronze bars and 4k to start, I suppose. Oh man, I am so excited for this clue. You have no idea. Alright, first step. And what's the next one going to be? Okay. Uh, I think we can do this actually. Uh, those items are all buyable. We'll just have to drop them at the end. We have hit the jackpot this trip. 
All right, guys, it took us a little while, but we finally got a mithril sword. That's right. This is a pretty big deal because this is our best in slot until we get a rune skimmy from fire giants. So that is awesome. The next trip of moss giants, bam. Look at all those black square shields, man. It's worth a fortune. I was so lucky. We have sold the loot. We have 1,600 bronze knives to still use up. And for the cash, 15k. Next trip, we did not get any black square shields, but we got some steel med helms. 27 smithing, getting up there with those bronze knives. And we can now make an iron kite shield for the clue. According to the challenge, we can complete any clue scrolls that we get, but we have to drop the items at the end. Unfortunately, the black plate body is 3.8k and the mithril pickaxe is 1.3k. Plus the charter ships, it's going to be pretty expensive to finish this clue. So I'm going to try and save a little bit of money by making this iron kite shield since we have the level for it. So it turns out that I didn't take into account the cost of the charter ship just to make this iron kite shield so yeah we kind of wasted a bit of money but hey you live and you learn man this is gonna hurt i hope this clue pays off all right and there's the mithril pickaxe oh sh we have to wield the mithril pickaxe don't we i guess it's back to my favorite place in runescape all right there we go 20 attack back to the clue Hey, we got a casket. All right, it has been quite a journey just to get this clue. Let's hope it's worth it. Drum roll, please. Nope. And that could have genuinely, genuinely been a rare drop. One of the best quests we can do at this point is Shiloh Village. Not only is it a requirement for lunar diplomacy, but it also gives us access to a new area where we can train fishing and the fishing shop, as well as Duradel later on in the series. The only requirements we're missing is 20 crafting and the jungle potion quest. And for those, we'll also need an anti-poison so we don't get screwed over by the tribesmen that hit 11s. Luckily for us, we have access to an amazing crafting method through the charter ships, and I'll show you that now. So for this method, we just have to buy a bucket of sand and soda ash, which are both 5 GP each, and go smelt them in the furnace. After that, we just blow them into glass objects and sell them back to the shop, and then rinse and repeat. Alright, coming up on 34 crafting here, and we got the extra levels because we'll need them anyways in the future. I think it's time we go kill some lesser demons, see if we can get some luck. Hey, would you look at that? We just got a mithril chain body. Question is, is it better than the steel plate body? Holy crap, look at that crush bonus. What a sick upgrade. Hey, there it is. <laughs> nice. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, these drop Mithril Square Shields. And the first inventory from Lesser Demons. Not too shabby, if I do say myself. I think it's about time we got some magic levels because we will need 40 magic to teleport to our house. Just training up the melee stats a little bit. Supposedly these guys drop air staffs and that would be really helpful if we could get one. I've been here for a couple hours and I don't think these ones drop the air staff. It must be some other one. Oh, and uh, there's 30 strength. Of course we're going to choose the mystery box, Mr. Quizmaster. What'd we get? 
Yo, that is definitely better than the Mithril Sword. My brothers, there comes a time in every man's life where he must face up to the darkest fears that haunt his existence. Hey, how's it going? Ingus here. I just wanted to say massive thank you to everyone who has watched and subscribed and enjoyed the series so far. Uh, it really means a lot to me. So, stay tuned because there's lots more to come.